Hello, welcome to IC Show TV. This is Paul Mulligan at IC 2019. We're here wrapping things up on the final day of uh, another incredible IC event. I'm joined by uh, Mike Blackman, the MD of IC event. Uh, welcome, Hi, Mike. Paul. Um, <laughs> Yeah, what an incredible show. Your, it's your been thoughts? fantastic. I, I'm over the moon. We've had, uh, I mean, this is, I, you know, it's funny. People say, how, you know, every year you say it's the best ever, but we just seem to improve and improve. We're learning and evolving. Yeah. So I'm happy. The interesting thing for me is it's, you know, it's the same venue, but doesn't it, there's enough things different every year that it doesn't feel the same. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I guess that's the is that one of the kind of primary concerns well, for you. Every yeah, year? Think about it. Next year? Think of it being like a city, where the houses are being constantly rebuilt. The city's still the same, but it looks different because they're different houses. Sure. And you know that's what you see with the the exhibits. You know, we had yesterday. We had the exhibit stand design awards, and um, I mean they they check. They actually go through and look at every single booth. Yeah. And um, I just find it fantastic. You know the the amount of design and creativity that goes into that. So that's what makes it look different. And sure. uh, you know, and sometimes there are different uh, booths in different places that makes it uh, you know a bit more interesting as well. Sure. I mean, you can probably see from behind us is people streaming in on the Friday. And traditionally, yeah. you know, with a lot of exhibitions, final day is slower, should we say? Um, I, I guess the busyness of today, and I mean, especially Wednesday, I thought was just incredible for the number yeah. of people. When, I guess Wednesday that justifies the move. Yeah. to a bigger venue. Wednesday's always an incredible day. Mm. It's always our busiest day. This year we saw almost 11% more people coming in on Wednesday yeah. than the previous year. Um, we've had a concerted effort to try and shift the attendance from Wednesday to Friday. It's obviously not yeah, working. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, despite that, we anticipate even more people coming this Friday and last, than Friday last sure. year as well. So um, I, I just think it shows the resilience of our industry. It shows you know, the interest that people want to learn they want to see what's new. Yeah, and I guess another example of kind of how big it is is that we've seen events at the Akura this year. Yes. Um, and other, you know, the projection mapping That's outside, right. so it's, it's branching out of the rise. Yeah, it? I mean, this is something else as well. We tried last year to do our projection mapping uh, in the city. Um, and, you know, whilst we got to some attendance and some attraction out of it, we felt in the end it made more sense to bring everything based around the rye. Yeah. We needed a, some additional space. And the Accor is just down the road, so yeah. we chose that and said, OK, we can do our conferences there, um, you know, create some more space to show something extra and different. So we spread ourselves in, uh, out in this part of the city by en encompassing the hotel that's being built uh, on the right side yes. and the, the Okura on the left side. So we got this whole stretch of street. Sure. And I guess next year it's going to be an emotional farewell to, to yes, Amsterdam. I talked to quite yeah. a few people yeah. this week and... There's a few people who can't wait to get to Brussels. Those yeah. people that are sad to leave Amsterdam. I guess it's a mixture of emotions, really. It is. We're all sad to leave Amsterdam. It's been a wonderful city for this show. It's actually helped us get where we are. Um, you know, this city has charisma. This city, it has something that's yeah. helped helped us uh, bring people here. Everyone's got their favourite spots. They've got used to yeah. it. Yeah. But you know, unfortunately, um, the venue has grown too small for us to. Uh, address the needs of our exhibitors yeah. and with the growth in attendance we're having we're, we're really pushing the venue to its limits sure. um, we've done a lot this year to actually work with the attendance flow to try and get people around the building and inside yeah. much faster and it seems to have worked yeah. uh, it takes some getting used to as well but despite that we just see this growth uh, our set, day two is just uh, so crowded sure. we need to alleviate that as well yeah absolutely so finally the, I mean the big question is always the numbers when will we um, as that will be Early next week, maybe? Um, I mean, we like to give me any hint on to. Uh, what I can what tell you at? is we will be bigger than last year. We already know that. <laughs> yeah. uh, we hit that figure yesterday. Oh, wow. Okay. And um, we anticipate by the close of play today we will have a uh, you know, substantial increase or you know, a good increase uh, on the attendance, uh, on the individual attendance, uh, an increase. What we've seen substantially increase is the daily attendance. So yeah. there are two numbers we can look at. One is the individuals. And the other one is the day-by-day -day attendance. Yeah. And uh, when we're looking at day-by-day -day attendance, we start in the first couple of days being, you know, uh, seven and eleven percent more than previous year, sure. eight percent yesterday. And you know, I think on target we'll probably do. I hope, you know, we could, won't know yeah, till yeah. the end of the day, but we will see an increase on the attendance uh, over last year. Well, it just leaves me to say a massive congratulations to you, Mike. I know it's an Thank incredible you. amount of work for you and yeah. your team. I, I mean, there's a great team behind. This is a big effort. We have the permanent team of, of ISE people who are working all year round on this. But you see this team grow 
um, to almost double of the direct people working with us. Uh, I mean, it just grows and uh, we see the same people every year and it's like a family. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, um, you know, without everybody who's involved, this would not be what it is. Sure. I mean, I mean in, in the build, I've called it, I call it the greatest Davy show on earth and it's this week has just reiterated yeah. that 100%. So congratulations, Mike, and Thank thanks you. for joining me. Right. Thank you, Paul.